guys so today's video is going to be part two of my haul the first part was already filmed and i'm wearing the same outfit because i did it the same day that was the high-end part this is going to be the drugstore part of the haul um i know a lot of people don't like high ends some people don't like seeing drugstores so i just figured whatever i divided them up into two so the video wasn't like 35 minutes long um i'm a little sick too so forgive my uh, disgusting voice and if you are interested in seeing my haul, please keep watching. So the place I went is not like the typical drugstores. I actually found this place called Harmon Face Values. I have no idea. I was literally walking to my staff meeting for work and I passed this place and I was like, do I did a double take. I was like, oh my God, is that makeup? And it's so sad that I'm that addicted, but like I saw something like new at the corner of my eye and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go in. And it looks like Ulta, but without the high-end stuff. But they have crazy, insane um, drugstore makeup. Like, every single brand, including NYX. Like, a ton of NYX stuff, not just, like, nothing. And e.l.f., which was so exciting. So it's kind of like a Target, I guess. Um, but the best part about this is that the products are face value. So, basically, I don't know about where you guys live, but this Revlon Colorburst Matte Balm is, like, 8 something at the drugstore at like CVS and they're always sold out of the good colors so when I went into this place they had every single color because no one's heard of it and these were literally like five dollars and ten cents or something like that so I kind of went ham in the store like I was just like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my god oh, I, want it all. Um, I was on the way to my meeting I was about to be late so I didn't even get to fully shop but I just and I already have like my high-end haul so I really didn't even need the stuff that I got here but you know when you just see new drugstore makeup and you're like oh my gosh this would be great to tell people on YouTube this is what the bag looks like um if you guys live in New York you definitely should check it out I'll write the address below it's like 20 something and 6th Avenue and if you don't live in New York and you've heard of the store definitely comment below and let other people know about it they only have been in New York for about two to three months I blah, blah, blah. what did I just say two to three months I think that's what the lady said okay enough rambling let's get into the haul I got this rapid clear two-in-one fight and fade gel by Neutrogena um, I opened it and resist so I wanted to try it it's a spot treatment I heard love Melissa and Michelle talk about this most of my stuff that I get from the drugstore is recommendations from youtubers that I watch like the ones that I always watch all the time um, if you've tried this let me know my skin's been bugging out recently since I bought mm -hmm. the Clarisonic it's like purging so um, I heard this is good so I got that and then I saw these and I'm just obsessed with this 48 hour hydration from L'Oreal. I mean, they smell delicious. It's such light moisturizers. And don't get me wrong, I love Lush. I use my Lush moisturizers all the time. Uh, but I, I don't only use Lush. Like, I'm not the type of girl that because I work for a company that's all I use. I am so excited to try this. They were only $6, you guys. And they're full size bottles. And they're such pretty colors. This one is the ideal moisture for sensitive skin, which I definitely, definitely have super sensitive skin. And then this one, it says ideal moisturizer, even tone. One cloud pours, instantly illuminates, instant glow. I don't really know if that's going to happen, but that's freaking amazing. I'm so excited to try these. If you guys have tried these, let me know. If you want a review on them, let me know. Okay, then moving along here. What else? Oh my God, I got so much stuff. I got the small stippling brush by e.l.f. because I heard SMLXO rave about this. It's so soft. Um, I think she uses it to pat under her concealer. And then I think this was a mistake. I already have the e.l.f. powder brush. I'm not going to really go there to return it for $3. Um, but this is nice. Maybe I don't have it. Yes, I do. Whatever. I can't ever, ooh, can't ever do <laughs> too many brushes, right? can't get what? I don't even know what I just said. Whatever. I'm tired. Uh then I also got this e.l.f. makeup remover pen because stupid me left the cap off of it and it dried out. And this stuff is amazing for when you're doing like winged eyeliner or eyeshadow and you get it kind of smudged down. Instead of wetting a q-tip or spitting on a q-tip or using a dry q-tip, use this bad boy and let me tell you, it does wonders. And you just press it on and it literally will like erase your mistake so it's like a or pencil eraser kind of I guess each elf thing was only three dollars which is awesome and I got mascara this is the covergirl bombshell volume uh big sexy bombshell lashes in very black um I don't know I just love trying new mascaras right now I'm loving benefits they're real um I don't really have a favorite drugstore one right now all of mine have dried up so comment below your favorite drugstore mascara I'll definitely check it out um 
I always love finding like new ones that are kind of cheap. That was about six dollars, I think. And another e.l.f. brush. I got the angled eyeliner brush because I had this, but again, it like dried out or something happened to it. It disappeared. And I've been loving my Inglot. If you watch my favorites video, you know I've been loving my Inglot 77 gel liner. And I feel like this brush is going to be perfect for that. Let's see. I got this retractable foundation. Um, what do you call this? A brush. Ugh. And it's so little and itty bitty, but it's retractable. So I feel like I can use this or carry this in my purse um, just to kind of touch up if I need to. Um, okay, then I got one of these Maybelline, um, the newer ones, the, I forgot what they're called because there's no, nothing really on the packaging, but this one is in, uh, Hibiscus Haven. It's absolutely a gorgeous color. It reminds me a little bit of, um, a MAC lipstick color. I don't know. One of them. <laughs> it, it's like a gloss, but it's so pigmented. Um, I wanted to get more of them, but they all kind of looked like colors that I already had. So I kind of was like, Nicole, control yourself. Let's not get crazy. Got four of the Revlon ones. I got one shiny one, three of the matte bobs. The matte ones are my favorites. I just absolutely love them. Super pretty. I am wearing this one on my lips right now. It is called Unapologetic. And I should have got more, but I didn't know if I'd really, really love them. And I didn't want to be that annoying person that swatched them in the store. So luckily I happen to love them. Um, and then I got this one, which is Audacious. So got Shameless. What crazy names. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love these and they just twist up at the bottom and they're just so gorgeous. Okay, I think I'm done except for these last two items. I picked up two CoverGirl True Magic um, bombs. I've never heard of these and they're in compacts and I just got really excited because I have not found a good drugstore bronzer. Um, I love my MAC. I love my Too Faced. I love Laguna. I love Hula. But um, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm excited to see if this works. I have my lipsticks all over it. If anyone's seen this, let me know. It's called True Magic The Sun Kisser. And it says that it's a skin protect perfecting bronzer soft touch balm, which is so cool. And it comes with a little pad and a little compact. So, so if you've tried this, definitely leave a comment below. If you want a review, leave a comment below. This I've never seen something like this in the drugstore. Um, skin Perfector Mattifier Soft Touch Balm. I assume this goes underneath your makeup, like a primer, which would be awesome because there's not that many great drugstore primers that work for me personally out there. Um, it just says wear, wear alone under or over makeup for a soft, smooth finish. I don't know. I'm just so excited. I always get really excited when I see new drugstore crap that I don't need. That is my semi-huge drugstore haul. Again, the place was called Harmon Face Value, so if you're in New York, check it out, or if you have it anywhere else, check it out. It's awesome. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! This guy is seriously the best smelling thing from Flush ever. As long as you don't inhale his entire being, and it will make you sneeze, um, yeah, his name is Bombardino. He's not a part of this haul because I got him a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, but when we got our holiday stuff out. But I didn't use him, and I don't plan on using him. I'm just leaving him here to smell delicious. Oh my god. He just smells so freaking good I can't even handle it like go to your local lush and just say you want to smell Bombardino and then walk out if you don't want to buy anything I don't care just smell Bombardino and he's so cute look at those little eyes okay all right I'm acting like a bath bomb as a pet this is when it's time to end the video